Hello Rundit. What secret are you keeping right now? I know a couple that broke up about a year ago. They still are friends though and work together and I'm not supposed to tell anyone they broke up. After this long I wonder if it's just a long elaborate test of my loyalty. Asterisk guys the test part was a joke. They are not evil humans lol, just private. I suspect that my conversations with a friend is being sent to my ex who is trying to bring me down and I've started to spread false information to that friend to truly see if my text messages is being leaked. My buddy is planning on leaving his wife mostly because he found out that his kid isn't actually his and he suspects the one she's pregnant with isn't either. My family doesn't know I walked out of my job nearly 4 weeks ago. I had 2 solid interviews that fell through afterwards and I'm still looking. I think I'll get a call back after the job interview I had today. I'm too embarrassed to tell them because I don't want any more financial help from them. I'm late on rent and broke. The last time I went to my mom's house I stole a couple rolls of toilet paper. Edit. Wow I didn't expect this comment to blow up. Thank you for the kind words everybody. Making me a bit teary-eyed ATM. I'm getting a biopsy on Friday. I may have cancer, but I'm not telling my siblings or my mom, because she also has cancer, and it would destroy her to know I might have it also. I'm 47 and my sister, dad, uncle and aunt all died of cancer. Doctor says the cell level I have means I have a 25% chance of having cancer. Not keeping it anymore, but I was born with cleft lip and palate so, when people asked about my scars, I said I got into a knife fight. I was also like 7 inches taller than everyone, and a hockey goon, so all my private school friends thought I was just a badass. That the operations manager at my work, who is a cunt to the core, her name is actually Karen, shocker, is under investigation for several incidents that should hopefully get that snake canned. Also, I was the one in 10th grade that accidentally shit my pants in class and those were my boxes in the trash can in the bathroom. I have a chocolate bar in my backpack. It's mine and I rarely have chocolate, and I'm not sharing it. I really really like my best friend. She's just got out of a long term mentally abusive relationship. Now's not exactly the right time to say. Lots of negative comments in this thread, here's a positive. My coworker is going to re-propose to his wife next month on vacation with a new ring and then, re-marry her on the beach. He's a total hardass, non-emotional type, but he was so giddy when he told me. She doesn't know, of course. My depression hasn't actually gotten any better, and if anything has gotten worse. I felt so fucking guilty any time I'd talk to one of my friends about the way I feel, and I couldn't take it anymore. So now they all think I'm doing a lot better, and I don't know what to do with myself. Edit, I should also mention I lost my job at the start of the year and due to that no longer have money or insurance and can't afford therapy or my prescription anymore. Thanks for all the advice and well wishes. Throw away because duh, I committed fraud to get out of school. I legit faked my mother's death certificate so I could leave with little repercussions after the ad slash drop period. Told everyone my mom died in a car accident, and I had to leave to take care of the estate. I'm doing much better mentally now. I really do care about it that much, but I'm 29 and still a virgin. I was raised super religious so dating was out of question. I started losing my faith when I was 23. Another secret. I feel like I'm so far behind when it come to dating that I never really found the courage to even ask anyone out. Edit. Thank you everyone for the support. It really means a lot. Last Christmas I had to go to the ER because my nuts hurt extremely bad. Told my parents that they just started hurting out of nowhere. I actually tried doing the destroyed it December thing and I busted 6 nuts in one day. I was at the ER for 3 hours and they had to take an ultrasound of my balls. Edit for more info, I was diagnosed with epididymitis and I stopped the challenge after that. My buddy and his wife are expecting their second kid. 
he got really drunk one night and told me the news with the biggest smile on his face. I'm the only one who knows right now. My happy, wholesome little secret. My wife might be pregnant, and she is really against me telling anyone, including family, until the 3 month mark. Even though we might be buying a house soon so two very big expenses starting at once scares the shit out of me. We rent now. Update, my most upvoted comment thanks. She told me yesterday, after I made the post, that she was spotting, and I figured that's normal, but this morning she told me, that it's full on period time. This relieves me, but she's not feeling the best. She was late by 3 days, and we had just put 2 and 2 together. Also the house we both really want drop they're asking by 3% to something that is still at the top of our range, but not as bad as we thought.